everybody welcome to Zephyr Travels I'm Randy and in this week's video we're doing a, another campground 411 this is Letchworth State Park and this is a very nice state park it's probably one of the top tier parks in New York State that you'd want to come and spend some time at the campsites are very nice they're very spacious very private there's some if I spin around here you can see behind me there's a lot of uh, trees and brush and such that give you a little bit of uh, separation from your neighbors and it's the same if I click over to the campgrounds on across the road from us you can see the same thing here there's some private areas that make these campsites very nice Letcher State Park is known by many names one of them is the Grand Canyon of the East because of the gorge area the gorge is over 600 feet deep there are three waterfalls each waterfall ranges between 70 and 107 feet so they're very spectacular we actually went and visited the three waterfalls uh, while we were here and we'll show you some video of that now Behind me is the Upper Falls. This is one of three waterfalls in Letchworth. There's Upper Falls, which is about 70 feet. There's the Middle Falls, which is about 107 feet. And then there's the Lower Falls, which is again about 70 feet. Um, what's unique about the Upper Falls is the train bridge behind it. What's that? The color's there. Yeah. But otherwise, like you said, it's because we had such a warm September. Yeah, the colors aren't as peak as they are for mid-October that we've seen in other years. Yeah. But it's still very pretty. Yeah, it is. The waterfalls flowing over. And the train bridge up Yeah. Above. Yeah, and that's a, you know, we learned that's a new bridge. It's yeah, only it's been there since 2017. The other right. bridge was there for, what, 120 years? but it was starting this, to fall apart. Is this the, the third bridge? This is the third bridge, yes. yes. And it was done as an arch bridge so that the views would be better. There and I'm is. sure if we dig through our photos at home, we probably got pictures of the old bridge. Oh, probably. Yeah. Probably. We've, we've camped here several times. Yep. It's not real crowded today. It makes it nice. Yeah, that's true. And our our walking is kind of limited because of my foot. But, you know, doing the best we can, or I can. Yep, we'll wheel you around. Right. Yeah. Because of Diane's mobility issues with her foot, I'm going to walk you over solo to the Middle Falls and show you that. And along the way. Are, give you a peek of the Glen Iris Inn, which was William Pyre Letchworth's, um, actually it was his vacation home. Though I don't know, I'm, I suspect he probably spent quite a bit of time here. Who wouldn't? Um, from what we learned in the museum, you know, he was an industrialist that made started making uh, saddles and carriage parts and then got into iron forming, uh, forging and made things like toys and a lot of other different parts and was quite successful to the point that he actually stepped away from the day-to-day -day part of the business when he was only in his 40s now he also um, needed to get out of the city and so that's the reason why he found this area um, which he called Glen Iris which is now considered Letchworth State Park and he moved here and built the, the home which is the Glen Iris Inn for a place for him to come and spend time and get out of the city get away from at that time cities were very heavily polluted with you know a lot of coal being used to fire built um, furnaces and such so he needed to get away from that, and it was, the air was much cleaner out here. I 
behind me is the middle falls and this falls is 106 feet tall and it's probably one of the more spectacular falls here in Letchworth. Of course they're all pretty good. Thing, if you're uh, taking in the view of the middle falls here, at least the front view, you're going to get wet. There's a lot of mist coming off the falls in this area. So keep that in mind. We're on the trail to the lower falls, and Diane started this tra trail with me, but we're starting to think that maybe it's a little too much of a hike for her and her little knee scooter. Um, the trail, as you can see, you can see here, it's just a dirt trail through the trees. It's not hard to walk on, but there's a lot of roots and such, so I imagine trying to transverse this with her little scooter would be a bit much. And it seems to be a bit farther than we thought. We're coming up to an area where we can hear the water below, but the view isn't that great yet. Um, there is a fence. I still think this is going to be quite a bit of a walk to the falls viewing area. You can see at this point, the trail becomes uh, less accessible for Diane and her knee cart. Not sure if we've actually gotten to where the falls is or not. Again. Well, there's no way Diane was going up this. Or down it on the way back. It is very uneasy. It looks like there's uh, access up here that we could actually drive up and get a little closer to the falls. And maybe Diane can come in here and see it if she wants. So, in case she doesn't, I'm going to wander over and get some video of the falls and then we will see if she wants to come back so we, we're going to come to a fork in a road if I go to the left it's 127 steps that provides a view of the lower falls river the fume and the footbridge to the east side of the park or we can go the easy access of the falls which is a thousand feet this way we're gonna go this way well we're still hiking that thousand feet Somehow, it seems longer than a thousand feet. I don't know how they measure things or did I miss it? Well, we're going up the top of this hill. Hopefully, we will get the view coming up here somewhere soon. Well, this is it. This is the upper viewing area. This is the lower falls, and this fall is again about 70 feet tall. Obviously, if you really wanted to get a good view of it, there's a path down there that you would be on that takes you right by the falls. But that's 127 stairs, so we didn't do that today. We've done it in the past, but not today. As you can see, the trails to the lower falls is a little bit challenging um, if you actually want to go down to the lower falls it's 127 stairs down I took the upper trail and just looked at the upper view which isn't as good as the lower view and also you want to make sure you park in the right area we obviously didn't park in the right area so the hike to that falls was a little longer than expected there is also a restaurant here called there's actually a couple of restaurants but one of them is the Glen Iris Inn and that was 
William Letchworth's home, and he founded this property back in the late 1800s and lived here as his vacation home. He, he was a industrialist out of the Buffalo area, and he bought this property. He actually took a train ride and went across the gorge there on the trestle, and the train slowed down and stopped, and he got off and looked and fell in love with this property and ended up buying. He started at 200 acres. Um, I think it was 400 acres that he gave to the state. The state has then acquired additional property. It's now up to 14,000 acres of property. Actually, I think he, he gave them 1,000 acres, but it's now up to 14,000 acres. The road through the park from, that runs from the north to the south is over 17 miles long. It is very scenic and very enjoyable to ride on. So definitely want to take a ride through the park if you're, when you come here. On the north end of the park, there is an Olympic sized swimming pool and diving pool. And so if you're here during the summer months, it's definitely worth it to go there and check that out and have a swim. They actually do have uh, competitions there at some times. So definitely check that out. The hiking here is very good. Unfortunately, we didn't get to do any hiking this trip because of Diane's foot. So I don't have much to show you on the hiking except for what I already looked at as far as the walk to the lower falls. But there is a beautiful lot of hiking here and come here in the fall and you're going to get the fall colors and this is probably one of the reasons we like to come back here every year is for the fall colors the last weekend is columbus day weekend for camping and we will come here typically on that weekend if we can get a site and just to check out the fall colors unfortunately this year the temperature has been a little warmer than other years and the fall colors are a little delayed, so we're probably a week early from really getting to see great color. There are a number of things to see while you're here. One of them is the William Letchworth Museum, and we would recommend, you know, you to make a quick little stop there. It's probably an hour or so, but there's a lot of interesting things, and you can get to find out a little bit more about William Letchworth and his love for this property and his love to preserve history. He was uh, very um, innovative in that he was using his wealth to preserve a lot of history, including Native American history. This area was originally settled by Native Americans and different tribes of the Seneca Nation. And he tried to preserve as much of that as he could in this area. And a lot of that is on display both at the museum and there is a Native American culture center that you can go visit. Can you imagine running into one of these in the park? No. <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. I thought that story over there about the um, Genesee Valley Canal mm -hmm. that they attempted to make out to this way was interesting because uh, you don't think about it. But, you know, we all kind of grew up with the Erie Canal. We knew all about that, but we didn't think that there would be other canals because canals were a popular way of moving goods back then. Right, that, right. That, you know, it would involve making more canals across the state. Mm-hmm.
anything? It was very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. A lot, a lot of history about the park and uh, Mr. Letchworth himself. Everything he did during his life. He was, you know, very hardworking and very accomplished. Yeah, and he really tried to give back to the community. And to preserve the history. Right. Well, it's been a couple weeks and we made it back to Letchworth to see if the fall colors have kind of come back yet. And they have. Yeah, so it's really nice. This is about two weeks later from when we created their initial video. And colors are pretty nice. Yeah, and it's a beautiful day. It's probably close to 80 degrees so a nice Indian summer day right and, uh, yeah a great day to take a ride yeah so we did All right We would highly recommend in your travels through New York State, no matter what time of year, whether it's the fall or the summer, to check off Letchworth State Park as a place to stay. It is a beautiful state park and it's one that we enjoy coming to every year and I think you would too. So if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. We post new videos out on a weekly basis and would love to have you follow along in our adventures. If you, if you do subscribe, make sure to check that bell for notifications and we will send you a notification every time we post a new video. Well, please leave us a comment and until the next time, guys, we will see you down the road. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.